Hi everybody, it's me! We're gonna can some beans today! Oh, what's in here, Mama? What you got? Oh, looks like she's sterilizing. After she already sterilized some sterilized jars. In 200 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay! Now what I'm gonna do is trick ya. I'm gonna open these up. I'm gonna put them in a strainer. Then I'm gonna sort through and pick out all the bad uglies. And I'm gonna rinse them really good. And I've got my little brine ready. What I like to call bean brine. But it's actually just the liquid that I used to put in the beans. I'm not gonna cook them first. I'm going to can them like this in quart size jars. Alright, this is the way I do it. Follow the ball canning method. Do whatever you like. This is the way I'm going to do it. Anti fee style. Be right back. This pot's going to have two inches, two to three inches of water on the bottom because I'm going to pressure can it. Yes, it's ugly. I'm going to put about a third of a cup of white vinegar in there. And here's my little brine that looks so scary. It's a combination of a one um, one of those large uh, broth, uh, chicken broths, and a southwestern broth, and a little brown sugar, but don't tell your doctor. Wah, wah, wah. Mama. How many, how much beans do you put in a quart sized jar? I put one cup. And then after I'm all done with all the jars, yeah, then I'm gonna add this brothy stuff here. This is brothy stuff. I call it the bean brine. And then I'm going to put them in the jar, in the big pressure canner, the jars in the pressure canner. And I'm going to cook them after they come up to pressure for <laughs> 90 minutes. I'm going to double check that. Yeah, 90 minutes, quart size. I think it's 75 for pint size. But I'm usually make pint, or the, you know, the, 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 the little smaller jars. But this time... I'm making the quartz, I, the big ones. I got the big ones, because I use them for a lot of stuff. In fact, I figured out that this one little two-pound bag, and I got three of them in here, this one little two-pound bag uh, comes out to approximately six cups. And, um, and that's what I put uh, one cup of beans in each quart-sized jar. Be back! I did tell you that uh, you got to sterilize these for at least 20 minutes in a 200 degree oven, didn't I? I think I did. Yes, I did. So, um, uh, I'll be back. No real video would be complete without Miss Dolly May making an appearance. Hello, Dolly. We got a Dolly to join our family. Yes, we did. Siéntate, por favor. Gracias. Que lindo. Mommy, why do you speak Spanish to that dog? Because she comes from Southern California. And that's what she responded to when we first brought her home from the rescue. Love you, Dolly. We'll be back. You like beans? Dolly. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. You like beans? Hey, 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 you like Donald Trump? Dolly, you like Donald Trump? Do you? Mm. Oh, yes. He's a man. Yes, he is. He's a good man. Hold on. Somebody's talking to me. Hello, I'm back. He put one cup in each one. I have six jars. This is empty. 
There's the brine. You know what I forgot to tell you guys I'm going to put in there? This is going to grow some of you out. But at this point right now, all you would have to do is fill it up to the brim right there. Not any further with um, water, warm water. Because the jars are hot, remember. Jars are hot. I just took them out of the oven. Okay. So you're going to fill them up with water. I'm going to use my Beano Brino. And I'm also going to add something else I forgot to tell you guys. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, for all you haters out there, you ever go to the store and you think, what would be a good survival food? And it's on sale, like two for five dollars. And it like weighs four pounds. And it says ham and water product. And you can kind of, uh, kind of understand what these ingredients are, but you really shouldn't read them. But this is survival food, remember. Okay. I'm going to cut these up into cubes, and I'm going to put them into jars. I'm going to warm this up a little bit, though, because it was in the refrigerator. Then I'm going to add my broth. Then I'll be back. You still with me? Okay. Oh, no, she didn't do that. Did she just do that? She did that. That's like two pounds. Better than spam. Yeah, I took the casing off, too. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, remember, cube means cube. I cut them up that big on purpose for a reason. I'll be right back. Putting in the Bean O'Brino now. Okay, two things. Number one, never underestimate the power of the funnel. It is one of the most necessary utilities you will need in canning ever. Number two, the Bean O'Brino is gone. As you can see, I am going to fill the, have to fill the rest of the way up to the jar here. I'm going to have to fill it uh, with hot water, warm water, hot, warm, boiling, whatever. And I'm not going to show you the lids and the rings. Why? How many times do you watch canning videos and you're like, we get it. We get it already. They got to be sanitary. They got to be clean. Yeah, I know. No more boiling water, but they have to be hot. They got to be clean. Da, 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 da. Okay, not going to do that. You're just going to have to trust me on it. They're either going to be brand new lids and brand new rings, or they're going to be used and clean. I don't reuse my lids. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, be back. Okay, I got this many jars. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I'm going to wait till they come up to pressure. I don't. I'm, I try to make sure they don't touch each other. I'm going to put the lid on. It's going to come up to pressure. It's going to steam, a vent for like ten minutes. Then I will put the weight on. Then I'll put the weight on. Here's the weight. Then I'll put the weight on. And then I will start my timer for 90 minutes. And you're probably going to end up with a thumbnail of what the finished product looks like. Because I don't have any editing stuff. Well, we lift one up. Here's one before, before. These are, good. These are going to be really good if I don't have a blowout. Hopefully, I won't have a blowout. I'm very dubious about beans. I'd rather can just about anything but beans, but I had a lot of beans, so I got to can them. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Okay, so I did forget to, uh, to show you one step. Uh, one half teaspoon of salt in each jar before sealing it up, wiping, you know, wiping before you wipe the rims and put the lids and the rings on. Now, I omitted mine because I put the ham in, and I think it's optional, but you do what you want for your for your own canning. So I'm not saying, you know, that you have to. Go buy the ball canning guide. I also use this. I like it very much, even though it falls apart a lot. I still love this thing. So we're waiting for it to come up to pressure. I think that's all I needed to say. Um... Mm. Yeah, salt, wiping the rims. Oh, I did debubble it too, even though there wasn't really much to debubble. Always try to debubble anyway. Uh, that's pretty, 
See, this is two pounds of that kind of sort of like ham divided by six quart jars. You do the math, but in a survival situation, look how much two pounds of dry beans made. That was that six quart jars. If I don't have a blowout. So yeah, my pressure canner looks really dirty, but it's not. It's just very well loved. It gets used a lot. Look at that. It gets used a lot. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Bye. Mama, signing off. Make canning great again.